Today in this video, we will discuss what all can be possible if we could travel at the speed of light. Do you remember the science fiction series Star Wars? In this movie, Han Solo travels in space with his Millennium Falcon at the speed of light. He was able to travel millions of miles in a blink of an eye and then arrived, unharmed, at the desired destination. But we all know their movies and have nothing to prove logistically or scientifically. These movies don't provide a scientific picture of the actual scenarios in space. For example, we see these space battles with awesome sound effects, but in real sense, there is no such atmosphere that supports the sound in space as we have on our planet Earth. Humans are thrilled by the speed since our primitive existence. In today's high-tech modern age, we have developed many fast means of transport, such as airplanes, ultra-fast jets, bullet trains, supersonic planes and whatnot. Still, we have aspirations to reach the fastest speed in the universe, the speed of light. First, let's understand what exactly is the speed of light. According to the theory of relativity, introduced by the famous genius Einstein, the speed of light is about 186,000 miles per second. That equates to about 300,000 kilometers per second. Wow! With this speed, we can travel seven and a half times around the Earth in one second. The theory of relativity also states that the speed of light is constant and independent of the observer's motion or the source of light. While traveling at the speed of light, our field of vision will change drastically. The world will appear to us like a tunnel-shaped window from the aircraft. Not just that, but the stars in front of us will appear as blue lines and the stars behind us will appear red. This happens because light waves from stars clog together and appear blue due to the extensive speed of light. Light waves from stars behind us will spread and appear red. This will create a severe Doppler effect. Doppler effect means the relative change in frequency of light caused by the relative motion of the source. Often, when we try to capture a fast-moving object with the camera, it blurs. The lights are spread and appear in blue or red. Additionally, once we go constantly at the speed of light, we will see blackness. This is because the wavelength of the light rays entering our eyes will be out of the visible spectrum. The speed of a jumbo jet aircraft is 0.15 miles a second, whereas the speed of light is approximately 186,000 miles per second. That is a huge difference. According to NASA, if we travel at the speed of light, it will take less time to reach our destination according to our rocket's clock as compared to the Earth's clock. As the clock on Earth will be moving at the standard rate, we will return older, though we have traveled for less time. Say, for example, it takes a year to travel to the end of the solar system according to our rocket's clock, but the time marked on Earth will be higher than it's measured in space. Our rocket clock will show relative time, and the Earth's time will be different. Therefore, according to the Earth's clock, it would be five years. This simply means that our measurement of time will be in terms of light years. According to the research, it takes 37,200 human years to travel one light year. But now, let's assume that we can travel at the speed of light. The light travels approximately 671 million miles an hour. According to astronomical scientists, the sunlight takes around 8 minutes and 7 seconds to reach Earth. Pretty fast, right? This simply means we would be able to travel 186,000 miles in just one second. Based on this, let's do some interesting calculations. One natural satellite moon is around 240,000 miles from Earth. In other words, if we make a bridge from Earth to the moon, then the distance will be 30 times the diameter of the Earth. At light speed, it will take just one and a half seconds to reach the moon. Now, let's compare it with the normal mode of transport. If the same distance is travelled with earthly speed, 
then it will be a lot more than this. Let's calculate. If we travel at a speed of 75 miles an hour, it will take 3,200 hours, or four and a half months to reach the moon. This is logically acceptable. Now, think of exploring more into our solar system. Before we move further, we must know that the distances between planets vary based on where the other planet is in the orbit around the Sun. Sometimes the planets are closer, and sometimes farther away. This is because the orbits of the planets are egg-shaped and not perfect circles. According to scientific discoveries, Mercury is 77 million miles away from Earth at the closest and 250 million miles when farthest. Therefore, the time of travel will differ depending on the position of the planets in their orbit. To start with, let us first take our neighbor planet, which is Venus. It is the closest planet and we can sometimes see it with our naked eyes. We call it the morning star. It is estimated to be 25 million miles away from Earth. It is 1,000 times the diameter of Earth. At the speed of light, we will reach there in two to three minutes. Approximately, it is the time to prepare our morning coffee. To cover this same distance with the earthly speed, it will take around 380,000 hours or 43 years. Similarly, Mars is 250 million miles away from Earth. It means 10 times more the distance than Venus. Therefore, you can reach this gorgeous sandy planet in around 30 minutes by traveling at the speed of light. The same distance with a jet will take around 200 years to reach there. Be aware that this estimation is just for a one-way trip. Now, let's move to our Sun. It is approximately 100 million miles from Earth. As discussed earlier, the light from the Sun takes only eight and a half minutes to reach Earth. Therefore, it will take the same for us to reach the Sun. On the contrary, the same travel in normal circumstances will take more than one and a half million hours, or 150 years. It doesn't end there. We humans are enthusiastic and always looking to explore more. After exploring the nearest ones, now let us explore the farthest places in space. Jupiter is the fourth planet in our solar system. The planet is located around 600 miles from Earth, 645.47 million miles to be precise. If we could travel there at the speed of light, it would only take a little more than an hour to reach there. You would take an afternoon nap on Earth and wake up on the planet Jupiter. Normally, it will take around 500 years to reach there in a rocket. Let's move on one step ahead. Saturn is 750 million miles away from us. At the speed of light, it would only take around two hours to reach there, whereas two and a half times more than Jupiter, which is around 1,200 years. Now it's time to visit Uranus. Uranus is 1.6 billion miles away from us. Using our capability to travel at the speed of light, we would be able to reach there in three and a half hours. Enough time to watch two movies on the way. By earthly means of transport, it will take around 4,500 years. Still, we have just uncovered the tip of an iceberg. We have only explored the solar system. There is so much out there in space that we can explore. Wait, until now the distances are acceptable, even traveling at the speed of light. But the universe is bigger than our imagination. Our Milky Way galaxy is home to more than 350 billion stars and trillions of planets. Moreover, the distance from our Earth is trillions of miles. Just to get to the center of the Milky Way, we will have to travel approximately 25,000 light years. Yes, you heard it right, light years. As we know, one light year is equal to 37,200 human years. You can calculate the total years. Now, just imagine what will it take to explore the whole universe? This is next to impossible. First of all, we cannot travel at the speed of light now. Maybe in the near future we could develop such machines that can enable us to travel so fast. To the maximum exploration of humans about physics and the atmospheric limitations. 
it is not at all possible to travel at that speed. According to Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity, the speed of light cannot be surpassed. So traveling at light speed is not at all possible. Additionally, the mass of an object increases due to its motion. The faster an object moves, the greater its mass will be. Based on the above theory of special relativity, if an object moves just at 10% of the speed of light, it will increase the mass of the object by 0.5%. Therefore, if we try to travel at the speed of light, our mass will become infinite. Even the energy required to move us has to be that huge. For now, we must conclude that we cannot travel at the speed of light. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share it with your fellow space fanatics. Hit the subscribe button for your weekly dose of informative fun and ring the bell icon to never miss a video from us.